Greetings, Aya all praising King King Selassie. Ja Ras Tafar I. Speaking about the cable companies here in Central Florida, uh, people have two options if they like to watch television or have internet. Those are Verizon and Spectrum, formerly known as Bright House. Doesn't matter what these companies are called, they're controlled by the same hands. You know, as a business-minded person, you know, it's difficult to think of another wish other than to be able to know what anyone, anywhere is doing at any time. It's enormous potential. These companies have the ability to slow your progress. They can make your communication slower. They can speed your communications up. People are being directed to a place where they will be entirely dependent on digital devices. When people rely on these devices for their livelihood, it's quite an opportunity to say the least when you can slow that device down as well as make that device inoperable. Now, as soon as I get my computer back up and running, get the video editing software going, try to put together a better video of this material. As for now, I found it necessary to get it out. I had a van, Spectrum, in my back alley today. No big deal, whatever, but you have to watch these people because they do tend to look into your yard. Now how these corporations work is they train their employees to follow a certain protocol. And typically that protocol is in line with what governmental enforcers as well as other corporations are being owned by the same individuals that own those corporations benefit from. You know, for example, I was in the hospital and I saw that every time people wash their hands, they take three towels, three wiping towels to wipe their hands. If I saw one person do it, I'd say, hey, you know, maybe they just don't think about the earth. Um, but I saw every single employee I, I noticed, and they're also taught to wash their hands every time they go in and out of that room. So whoever has the contract for those paper towels is sitting pretty. And so that's how protocol and training work to enrich these benefactors. These companies have consolidated to the point where you can see in Central Florida there's only two cable companies, as I mentioned. And so they have that much more power. Uh, now um, they have been permitted through the federal agencies to take people's money and sell it. This is not something they weren't already doing. If anything, they were gathering the information and waiting to sell it. Uh, this is going to be a huge industry in the future, but it's only going to be controlled by a few people. It's, this is a network. If it was one person, it would maybe be easier to influence this person, but it's because it's a network of dictators. These folks are, you know, working together and, and, and they're afraid to let their partners down. And so, you know, for one of them to come out and say, hey, you know, this is what's going on, um, that would be, you know, treasonous 
to this fraternal order. So as we move in the future, these companies continue to consolidate, which equals them being owned by fewer and fewer hands. Whatever mom and pops may have had a few shares in the company, those ownership values that diminish in favor of the fewer controlling powers. And while they tell us that privacy is a thing of the past, they drive their forces to privatization. This is a form of, of capitalism. It, it sounds cliche maybe, it sounds you know, played out, but it is what it is. It's private ownership. If you have a socialist government, it could be it could be operate any way. There's 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 different forms of socialist governments. There's you know, the communist socialist, which is controlled by the government. People on outside don't have a say. There's the democratic socialist, which is just you know piecemeal reformation of what we already have, capitalism. And then there's religious socialists. You know, they have a foundation that they stand upon that does not move. You know? Even though, you know, the opinions of those around us may change of what the standard of evil is, does that mean that the standard of evil changes? So those that avow to partake a religious order believe that, that those laws that govern them remain the same and are not influenced by external forces. There's eco-socialists, you know, people that are concerned with matters of the earth. So, it, it, you know, because the capitalists told people what the word socialist means doesn't mean that people really understand it. And in this capitalist economy, this is what we have, consolidation of these powers. The military has learned how to effectively um, change the processes of people's thoughts so that they are in support of this future world. And so, as incentives are given to people, people are, are trading off their freedoms. They're saying, well, you give me a new smartphone and I'll tell you everything about my life. And as so long as people around them are doing the same, they're accepting this as natural and healthy. Um, I guess the only way to solve this problem is to disengage, to um, not support the cable companies. Then when you think about it, you say, well, that can't be enough because it's just people around us don't have knowledge about what it is that's happening. And even if you told them, they wouldn't really understand what that means and how that affects them um, or how it could affect the entirety of humanity. And even if you explain that to them, they may not care because they have been captivated. So, you know, I believe disruption is important. Disruption. Now, that can happen in any kind of form. We are being watched. So be very careful you know, if you decide you want to do something that may put you in jail. We, we have to 
the people that, that realize what it is that's happening have to find a way. We just have to find a way. We have found it. Selassie. Selassie is the way. Selassie is the one man in our time that has powers over all men. And men know this and hate him because of it. It is written. We give Selassie the glory. We his power.